Right, now I'm really sorry, but I've got the microphone right by me, so it might sound a little bit iffy. But I want you to see this. Now I've managed, I've put the earring in that fell out yesterday. And I've just started to attach the hair further down. But I've not finished with the hair because I want to put more on her. Uh, I think she needs quite a bit more. So I'm using up all the oddments that I've got. And again, the same as I did yesterday. What we do is we just glue, you know, all the strands together. And we do it like that. Sorry, I do it like that. Squeeze it tight. Cut it. You just want all the excess off. And then I can glue this bit, which is this. And I'm now going to start and just pop in some in here. So I just want a little bit more here. Like that. And then what we do is a little bit of glue on top of that. Just a touch. And we attach that to that. And then I can twist this a little bit more. And just pin it where I want it to go. We do want to see some of the curl. Obviously. And I can just touch that in there. Can you see? I'm going to put a little bit more here to go over there as well. Okay, and then we're going to pinch, push that into that section there. This is the best thing about these um, pelts, you can just add where you need it to go. Okay, now we need something here. Oh, I cut that bit there. Huh. Okay, and this will go under here. So it's gone into that loop there. I've shoved it underneath there, which will extend that. And I'm going to put a little bit more here. So I need to get another one of those. And I think, was it that one or that one? Uh, 
Oh, we can use that one, I think, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't matter that it's slightly darker colour. We're going to pin this in here. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is to curl that. Right, we're going to bring that round. So we need to pin that in there. Sorry, I hope you can see this. Never mind that, because what we do then is we drop a bit of glue right there. Pull that forward and pin that back. And then we continue. Now, I, don't, I need that to stand up at the back. So what I'm going to do, let me just take a head off. Sorry, lady. I need this to stand up and I'm going to cut this off. Because you're not going to see that bit. And I need to fix it. In a, now in order for that to stay and look okay I'm just going to pop on a bit of glue right there oops nearly lost my scissors and do that and that will stay. I want a, the collar to look like it stood up at the back. There she is. You can see the crown. Now I'm just going to get some flowers. Yeah, but I may need to cut the greenery off. Let me just see how it looks. Do I need to cut the greenery off? That's the thing. Ah. No, I like that. No, I don't need to cut the greenery off at all. Right, I'm just going <laughs> to glue the flower.
like I said, when you make yours, if you do one, uh, and the dolls will be in shortly, just do it how you want it. You don't do them for somebody else. You do them how you want them. You can see everything there. I might just put one. Do I need one there? No. No, I think that'll do. I like that. I love her hair. Um, <laughs> I love that we've got this stood up as well. You can see her earrings. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring her hair forward a little bit as well. Now I've also changed this, I had a pink flower, I've now put that on to match this. That, I do love the hair. Just going to have to get rid of some of these loose, um, loose bits. But yeah, I do like the hair. I like that. Now what I can do with that is I can then spray it with a little bit of hairspray to hold them uh, bits down. But she is a magical princess, so... Supposed to be. <laughs> Right, so that's the hair done, the eyelashes done. 